I've been asked whether in the years to come it will be possible to kill 40 million American people in the 20 largest American towns by the use of atomic bombs in a single night. I am afraid that the answer to that question is yes. Would the world be better off if we had never understood how to split atoms? Yes, of course it would. But is it possible to go back and rewind that tape? And the answer is no, it's not. This is the, really the culmination of a, of a golden age of physics. It just so happened that uh, uh, Oppenheimer grew up in New York and he was a bit spindly and his father wanted to toughen him up and so he sent him out to New Mexico to uh, ride horses. He would take off on horseback riding trips into the wilds of New Mexico for three or four days at a time with a jar of peanut butter and a bottle of whiskey and uh, must have seemed like a good idea. So he knew this spot, and he knew how remote it was, and that is why Los Alamos today is where it is. There was a kind of professionalism among scientists and engineers that their job was to do a very specific task and not to make political decisions. And with the dropping of the bomb, many of the scientists realized that there are moral consequences to their work. Finally, after three years' work, the atomic experts were ready to test their first bomb. In the control shack was Dr. J.R. Oppenheimer. The automatic control's got it now. Rob, this time the stakes are really high. It's going to work all right, Robert, and I'm sure we'll never be sorry for it. But in 40 seconds, we'll know. seeing of what a this uniquely destructive force that man was unleashing and realizing that it was the same old human beings with the same old limited capacities led him to then become quite philosophical. A few people laughed, a few people cried. I remembered the line from the Hindu scripture, the Bhagavad Gita, now I am become death, the destroyer of worlds. I suppose we all thought that one way or another. He began to speak about the danger of the weapon. He began to oppose the so-called super bomb, one form of the hydrogen bomb. And it was because of his opposition, his security clearance was taken from him and he was humiliated. And then Einstein, a few years later, saying that atomic weapons had changed everything except the way we think, that we hadn't understood. And I, I think we still don't understand that we have created weapons that can destroy us, that can end life on this planet. And we've done that. The question will be, do human beings have the vision to uh, address and to cope with, to survive? I think the only hope for our future safety must lie in a collaboration based on confidence and good faith with the other peoples of the world. <laughs>